Well, welcome back. If you have spine or body pain that just won't go away, our next guest may be able to change that. Dr. Neil Pollock is a board certified neurologist and pain specialist, and he's here to tell us all about prolotherapy. It's super interesting. I'm really excited to have you back here on the show. Good to see you. Thank you. Yeah, let's talk about this because I think in general, um, a lot of people don't know what prolotherapy is, right. but so many people live with really bad back spine pain every single day. Yes, yes. Prolotherapy is a regenerative therapy. You've heard of uh, some of the others, uh, stem cells, right. PRP, it's a blood transfusion. Prolotherapy is probably the most efficient safest mm -hmm. and most cost-effective way of taking a regenerative therapy. Mm -hmm. How does it work? It works by creating a normal inflammatory response in the body. For instance, the normal response of healing is to first produce some inflammation. Let's say I cut myself. Mm -hmm. It gets red. There is a uh, enlargement of cellular response. There's a scar that forms, it heals, it strengthens. Well, there's a lot of ligament instability, tendon uh, weakness, which then forms into arthritis. This produces that local inflammation in these areas with a natural solution that then promotes this. A lot of these tissues don't get the same blood supply that, that regular tissues get, and they don't heal. Mm. Because so, that was my main question is, you know, if we, we have inflammation in our body, especially if you have pain, and we try and get that inflammation to go away, that's what we often, you know, think of doing to relieve pain. But it sounds like that's, there's a part of inflammation that's truly beneficial to our body. Exactly. It's counterproductive a lot of times. There's a paradigm of anti-inflammatories, mm -hmm. uh, rest, uh, and a lot of times that's overdone. And these tissues do not heal, and that's where these regenerative therapies come in. And prolotherapy is, like I said, the most efficient, cost-effective way to start this process. What do your patients say after the therapy? Usually, and also, how long does it take, and then what are their results? A lot of times it takes a number of treatments, spaced out at three to four week intervals usually. and. Uh, Typically, my experience has been, and I've had a lot of experience with these, that you get a series of three, and almost everybody, if you pick your patients properly, respond to this. Hmm. And this is something, what surprised me is how um, prolific it is here in Wisconsin at um, the University of Wisconsin-Madison. This is something that's very extensively used, um, taught, researched here. Yes, it is. And so when people go to use this, as, as Katrina kind of mentioned, they, they have how many treatments usually? It's usually three, sometimes three. less, sometimes more if there's a chronic situation. I, is it painful? You know, I, I, when I think yes. of other treatments like this, I think of stem cell, and I don't know if that's pain felt, painful or not. I just know that it's more expensive than prolotherapy. Oh, a lot more. And um, stem cells they can get from different sources and uh, that determines uh, the pain and the response correct to let's get back to prolotherapy you asked if it's painful there are a number of different injections very tiny needle and usually i use a spray solution that frees it up and it's very tolerable. People mm -hmm. walk in, they walk out. They don't need an anesthetic. Is it the same? Like a lot of people have had cortisol, you know, when they've got pain. And it's that same kind of freeze. Cortisone or cortisone. Shot. Yeah. It's that same kind of freeze spray. It is. It so is. it numbs it's, it. Sure. It's a completely different reaction. Cortisone is actually a potent anti-inflammatory medicine. And used regularly, it, it can be dangerous. It yes. can weaken tissues. Oh, Absolutely. yeah, they tell you not to do it too often. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Yes. What are the, the, your best patients? Where have you seen the best results? What kind of pain are they suffering from? Various areas. It's not that one responds better than another. I treat people with pain in the spine, various joints, and go down the, the line, shoulder, elbow, uh, wrist, uh, hips, knees, feet, ankles, mm -hmm. all, all areas. So what this truly is doing then is building and repairing those damaged tissues. Definitely. It's not just putting something in your body to replace it, it's repairing it. It does. 
That's incredible. And ma not masking it. I think because what yeah. you've been talking about is when you are worried about inflammation and you take ibuprofen or Advil or cortisone shots, yes. you know, you're really masking the pain. Mm -hmm. you, you certainly are. You get a, a quick response, but you don't heal anything. Yeah. So this is truly healing yes, and repairing. So what do people need to do? How do they find out? If somebody says they're sitting at home, they're saying, I've been, I've been off work. I've been living with pain, whatever it may be in my back, in my shoulder, in my knees, in my body, mm -hmm. my hips. What do they do? Do they come in and see if they're a good candidate? Yes, you have to be evaluated. And okay. uh, I pick my patients very carefully because I want them to get good responses. I don't just use it in everybody. Yeah. And. Um, I've had a lot of experience with this. My, my results are very good. I love that. I think Great. that is going to speak volumes to a lot of people who live with pain and the fact that you don't have to. You can repair a lot of it. So here's what you can do. You can meet with Dr. Neil Pollack. He is, again, a board-certified neurologist and musculoskeletal pain specialist. Call him at 414-453-7780, sorry, 7780, or Milwaukee Pain Clinic. Dot com is the website for more. Thanks so much for sharing that, doctor. You're welcome. Appreciate it.